Austin Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. That's pretty nice. That's awesome. I like a good stroh package. This guy needs them. Making low bed moves every week. You want to make sure the people are seeing them. We're in the process of pinstriping here. puts the tape down as the lines and he paints in between the tape and then he'll peel the tape off and the lines will be just nice. This is pre-pulling the tape off. Peel the tape right off and have nice clean lines. It's gonna look awesome. So I'm here with Jeff, the artist in Pinstripe. How you doing Jeff? Hey, good, how are you? I'm doing great. You're doing an amazing job. You've done all our trucks over the last few years. Can you tell us a little bit of your process? The, uh, so you, you know, I try to be consistent with each truck. Um, maybe a little thing, maybe something's different on the scrolls, but for the most part, things are, you know, pretty consistent. Preparation is the key. It's actually, it's a, you spend an amazing amount of time just getting all the grease off the truck. That's, that's the key of the paint lasting forever. Um, and uh, need a lot of patience to paint these stripes. <laughs> so what what's like the process of? So you get the so you clean up the surface first, and what's the next yeah, next step? Uh, I have um, uh, striping tape, okay, all different sizes. Uh, this is a guy down in Florida. Oh, nice. He's probably he's the only guy I know. If he goes out of business, I'm I'm hurting. <laughs> Uh, but he's young, so he yep. should all, all right, he good. should all live me. Different, you can get custom sizes. Some guys like fat stripes, some like a single skinny stripe. All different sizes. Um, car pin striping as well. Um, it's great for straight lines. It's not great for rough surfaces. Um, you know, but in general, it's great day to day. Wow. And I run that tape, clean the surface, run that tape. Uh, make sure it's straight. Um, sometimes I'll just overlap corners yep. and come back later and hand fill in the corners. Sometimes I'll spend the time to uh, run the tape around the corner and just not have to come back and connect two corners. Um, I think on this truck I have both options. Um, you try and take the tape off as fast as you can so okay. the paint doesn't set up and uh, shouldn't wash it for a good week. Wow. Um, but it, and the paint will fade just as the truck fades over time. Okay. It's automotive quality, so you get a nice look to it. So how much of it is your design and do what you do? You do what you want to do, or do you take more direction from the customer? Uh, the striping, generally, it's all me. You know, okay. um, and the thing is, they've seen other trucks. Yeah. They might say, "I like, you know, that Mac. I want to match that style." Um, and the striping is generally you're boxing out a vehicle. Mm -hmm. You're following the lines. Um, and as the different, as the vehicles change, the striping changes. Sure. But you know, you're basically following the same procedure. So what's, so I suppose you have to have a lot of patience and a good steady hand for a job like this? Right. Just not too much coffee. Not too much coffee? Yeah, because you'll be jittery? Yeah. Your hand will be moving? It's two cups. <laughs> two cups max. Well, that's awesome. Well, I appreciate you letting us into the process. Oh, sure. I'll let you get back to work. Okay, thanks. Uh, is there any way anybody can get a hold of you if they want any work done? Or? Uh, it's Cronin Signs and Watertown Mass. Cronin Signs and Watertown Mass. Awesome, okay. Jeff. Thanks so much. Okay, thanks. Awesome. We're getting there.
And then why do you put the gold leaf over that? Why is white and gold? White and gold, huh? Wow. How long have you been in this business? Uh, 16 years. Wow. My dad started in the early, early 70s. Wow. So you've been around this your whole life. I'll let you go. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Alright. Have a good one. So we got the 2022 Western Star with a DD16 Detroit engine, 550 horsepower, 7 speed Allison transmission. All right, let's take a look at this beauty inside. First thing I notice are these solid doors, right, Teddy? Look how solid these doors are. Listen to that. Yeah. That's. It's a new truck. It's a new truck, exactly. But nice and airtight doors, nice door pocket. And three steps for us short people. That's it. That's it. Wait, it's missing something. Wait, what's. Yeah. What's, what's going on here? It's missing two things. Yeah? Oh my god, look at all the space it's got now, though. It's a nice seat. Wow. Need a new seat. Quick, stick, take it out. How does this thing, what, how's this thing go down? What does, oh, look at that. Yeah. There you go. I don't know. Teddy, I'm recording. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not yelling, yelling at you. <laughs> It's got the full gauge package. It's not missing any gauges. Got a lot of switches. This thing's like an airplane. Ooh, look at this. It's got two cigarette plugs. Three. One, two, three. Wow, that's nice. I only have two in my truck. Seven speed Allison. Here's the engine brake. Low, high, medium. Cruise control's right there, so that's nice. Everything's right at your fingertips. Engine fan, shut down over it. I don't know what that is. Headlights, dash lights, cab lights, stereo lights, backup lights, hookup lights, utility lights. It's got a lot of light switches. It's all in one row. That's nice. This was probably to power the strobes. And this is the strobe panel lights right here. Mirror fog, wipers. Teddy, Teddy's been in a couple of my videos and now he can't help but interject himself. Oh, okay. Thanks, Teddy. Um, heater, air conditioner, and down here, I don't know what all that stuff is. And you get the interaxle locks, differentials, suspension height, to airbags, fifth wheel lock. You get two big cup holders. They're kind of you kind of have to stretch for them. And I get short little T Rex arms, so it's a little hard to reach. But I won't be driving this truck. You get a nice Bluetooth stereo. Got a Cobra CB. It's a nice plush leather interior here. You can't even reach the passenger side. The cab's so wide. And they're going to have to clean up this area. We got um, triangles, light cords, got a storage pocket back here. Nice big window. 
Andrew's gonna be styling driving this truck. Nice tilt steering wheel. It tilts right here on the on the side. City on winds. All right, that's the interior. Oh, and I don't know what this is. This is diagnostic stuff. I don't know what that stuff is. What's up, Andrew? Hi. You getting ready for your new truck to ride? Yeah, I am very uh, excited. How long have you been waiting for this thing? Five months. Well, it's about time, right? It's about time, yeah. But, but you got it. Uh, I got it. So I hear they're going to add some more chrome goodies to it today, and then you'll be riding hopefully tomorrow, right? Yeah. <laughs> hopefully we'll be, we'll be in, in it today, right, boys? Uh, I think you'll be in it this afternoon. All right. Awesome. We're going to put some... What are you going to put on it? If not, I'm going to cause a scene. I had a couple stacks to it. Uh, new stacks? New stacks. Uh, I think we'll put hood mirrors on. Uh, <laughs> hood mirrors, Andrew. A couple, uh, couple of small little things that gotta happen. Gotta make a couple adjustments here and there. All right. Stack tips, huh? I don't know, I kind of like the stacks. I like the stacks that are on there now. But, it's not my opinion. I think it's pretty... I can't wait to see these stacks. What are you whispering about over there? Putting on a visor. Getting serious around here. What do you think, Andrew? You know, the hype on this truck and this video has been hyped more than any new Marvel movie coming out. A life. <laughs> I'm We're finishing the Western Star video that I've been oh, making for two years. Star, you gotta, when are we going to do the auto car video? Right. <laughs> that was Anthony Cardilla, who never makes an appearance on the vi But he's actually the real boss. That's Tony's son. And we've been waiting for this truck for a while. It's here. You're taking it today. Taking it today. You excited? Fine. It looks pretty awesome, dude. It really does. Throwing on the last antenna. Uh -huh. And you're good to go. Finally, huh? No. Now you gotta keep it shiny. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 